So, and again, since we're going back to your the stereotypical South oh. Indian, listen, I'm saying this because I am also a giant stereotype. I'm one of those Malayalis who lived in the Middle East. I am like literally the same. <laughs> okay. We're like third culture kids. We grew up somewhere else. You come back and you're like, I don't feel feel from here or I feel I'm from there. And Got it. Yeah. So I get it. Like, but we, I cannot help but make. No, fun you have of to it. take it. Get it. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> so you're. Also, are you a chart accountant? Oh my god! <laughs> Look, you didn't have to do such good research, okay? <laughs> yes. Um, yes, I'm also a chartered accountant in Singapore. Damn. So, and yeah. you actually worked in an accounting firm. Yeah, I was with PricewaterhouseCoopers Tax. God damn. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh my god! Yeah, I can't believe that actually happened at some point. Yeah. <laughs> Did you? But, but like, but why? Chart accountancy, like why? I mean, my dad's a chart accountant. Too. <laughs> That's exactly why, actually. Oh, your dad was one too. <laughs> my dad is one. Oh, so then I was I like, do okay, like what do I do? <laughs> yeah, actually, pretty much. I was like, what do I do with my life? Okay, let's just do CA because my dad's yeah. a CA, and. That's really how it happened. I wish I had more like profound things to say about <laughs> it, but I, I, that's really the truth of it. Yeah. Did you? So, um, was there any point in time where you at all enjoyed it? The chartered accountancy. Yes. Oh, every bit of it. Are you serious? Yeah. You blood nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I I really enjoyed like seeing people's books and being like, oh my god, they have to pay this much, and because especially because I was in taxes. They didn't do their taxes properly. Yeah. Uh-huh. I really enjoyed all of it. But then what happened was when I was in the big four working, I realized that I was just humming and singing all the time, much to the nuisance of everyone around me. Oh. And so I was like, wait, what am I doing? I'm young. I mean, back then I was, and I was like, I'm young and I'm here. Like, I should really just take the leap and just do it. Just move to India. So I remember mm-hmm. like I was on the way back home in a bus with my dad after lunch together. And I was like, you know what? I, I think I'm going to quit the big four. And I like the look on my dad's face was like, what are you saying? You know, because it was like a dream wow. of his that his daughter was like working in a big four because he's a CA, you know. Yeah. And then I was like, no, I, I got to do it now. And then that's it. Like within a month, I quit. And then I just moved to India. Man. Yeah. But like how, I mean, I know the initial shock when you have to tell your parents something that they're probably <laughs> didn't realize they were going to hear. But after, did did like your parents have any resistance to like you coming back to India and you wanting to pursue music at all? I, I think so. I mean, um, mainly because I think, you know, when you want to choose an artist's life, money is not guaranteed. Yeah. Um, But, you know, I mean, I have to acknowledge my privilege here. I mean, the reason I could also take that leap was because I knew my grandparents lived there, my uncles Mm -hmm. and aunts, and there were people to take care of me. And, you know, it it wasn't, I I would be lying if I said that, oh, I'm starting from zero because I wasn't. I had an infrastructure. You're still going to be Taisadam on the table. Yeah, yeah, exactly. (laughs) Yeah. So there was like, um, there was a structure in place, right? So, but I mean, at the end of the day, I think my, my father, you know, my parents were concerned, like, okay, like if she goes, then you know, what is the monetary situation going to be like for her? Like, can she support yeah. herself and all that? So actually one of the things that, you know, my parents negotiated with me was, okay, you can go there and pursue music, but can you also work at the same time? So to be honest, when I moved to India, I actually worked. I, I tried to do both. And then it was much later in 2017 that I was like, oh my God, I can't do can't both. Do this at the same time. Yeah, it, it just wasn't doing justice to either. And so then yeah. in 2017, after... Actually, just before I met my mentor, I quit. So it's just very serendipitous that I quit. And I was like, okay, what am I doing with my life now? And then I met my mentor. And then, like, life just actually just changed around. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's good, though. Please, like, share, subscribe. (laughs) Love me, please.